Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Welcome. Spiritual songs, psalms, hymns, spiritual songs in the midnight watch. Tunashukuru Bwana kwa nafasi hii nyingine kuingia katika sehemu ya maombi to call on the name of the Lord to trust him to put our confidence in him to let his shine to let his face shine upon us hallelujah hallelujah we come to you lord in this midnight hour magnifying your name hey na kwa budi mana ni wewe bwana Hallelujah. Colossians chapter 3. Colossians chapter 3 verse 1 it says since then you've been raised with Christ set your hearts on things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. As we close our eyes we see only you Lord. We see only you singing na kwa budu mana ni wewe bwana. Na kwa budu maana ni wewe bwana in Swahili tunaimba Na kwa budu maana ni wewe bwana Nikuitapo bwana wasikia Na kwa budu I worship you Lord Because you are the Lord I worship you I worship you because you are the Lord. I worship you because you are the Lord. I worship you because you are the Lord. Yeah. When I call my Lord you always hear. Na kwa budu mana ni wewe bwana. Na kwa budu Mana ni wewe bwana Na kwa budu mana ni wewe bwana Come on share this video with somebody let's let, allow someone else to be blessed allow someone else to be blessed allow someone else to be blessed Hallelujah E bwana Na kuinua mana Nakuinua maana ni wewe bwana Nikuitapo bwana wasikia wewe bwana Nakuinua maana ni wewe bwana Haleluya 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 to the glory of the Lord. Bwana wasikia. You know whenever we call on the name of the Lord, he always hears. And you see beloved, it was in the around the midnight hour when Paul and Silas were captured and they had been captured earlier on and they were thrown in prison. Now at around midnight, they were singing psalms, hymns and spiritual songs and praying to the Lord. And as they were praying, walipokuwa wakiomba Bwana akafungua mbingu na kutuma malaika wake ambaye alitingisha ile gereza the angel of the lord came down and shook the entire prison and everybody that was in the prison was set free but nobody ran out of the prison because the person who indeed required the freedom was not the prisoners the person who required that freedom was the jailer and his family because we read in acts chapter 16 that the moment that this happened the jailer wanted to commit suicide he had his sword out and said ah everybody has run out now what should I do should i do and when he was just about to take his life paul said to him do not do it we are all here and you see this is the thing 
we usually see in the book of Acts chapter 16. And I just want to bring this clearly to us. Hallelujah. That freedom has come. The Lord is allowing us into a new season of favor, a new season of grace, a new season of majesty, a new season of his capacity, a new season of his goodness. My, 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 my. Days and moments that we do not expect. The Lord is releasing the supernatural. The supernatural is being released. There's no time. It's time now to start the congregations. It's time now to, you know, go out like never before. It's time now to take the longer route to your village. If at all you are going for your celebrations, take the longer route. Don't take the shorter one to just go and reach home and nothing else to do. Go on a mission now. This is the time. This is the time to go on a mission for those of you traveling, anywhere you're traveling to. It's time for you to... You know, just ask the person next to you, do you know how Jesus loves you? Do you know that the love of Jesus? Do you know that Jesus loves you so much? Would you be able to uh, comprehend his love? Do you know that his love endures forever? Do you know that you today you can be born again? Do you know that this day you can actually receive Christ as Lord? You know, and all these things are possible when we pray. So let's look at Acts chapter 16. Acts chapter 16 is a, a good time to, to be able to read. Good to see you, Babuji. Nakuona hapo ni vizuri sasa ufungue Biblia yako pale. Biblia yera. Biblia yera. Ufungue pale Acts chapter 16 that uh, tuweze kuona what happened there. You look at Acts chapter 16 and see what happens. So, this is Paul and Silas in prison. The whole story starts from verse 16. It says, Once that you are going to the place of prayer, we were met by a slave girl who had a spirit which she predicted the future. She earned a great deal of money for her owners by fortune telling. This girl followed Paul and the rest of us shouting, These men are servants of the Most High God who are telling you the way you shall be saved. She kept this up for many days. Finally, Paul became so troubled that he turned around and said to the spirit, In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you, I'll come out of her. And at that moment, the spirit left her. When the owners of the slave girl realized that their hope of making money was gone, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace to face the authorities. They brought them before the magistrate and said, These men are Jews and are throwing our city in uproar by advocating for customs that are unlawful for us Romans to accept or practice. The crowd joined in the attack against Paul and Silas, and the magistrates ordered them to be stripped and beaten. After they were severely flogged, they were thrown into prison, and the jailer was commanded to guard them carefully. He was not just told, you know, to guard them, he was told to guard them carefully. Then he continues verse 24. The Bible says that upon receiving such orders, he put them into the inner cell and fastened their feet in the, in the stocks. Now listen to this. About midnight, whoo, glory to God. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. And the other prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, read about those three. Hallelujah. Suddenly, there was such a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And at once, all the prison doors flew open and everybody's chains came loose. The jailer woke up and saw the prison doors open. Verse 27. He drew his sword and was about to kill himself because he thought the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted, Do not harm yourself. We are all here. The jailer caught, called for the lights, rushed in and fell trembling before Paul and Silas. He then brought them out and asked, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Remember, this jailer was about to commit suicide. But now 
He fell before Paul and Silas and said, What must I do to be saved? They replied, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. You and your household. Beloved of God, it is a time for you and your household. It doesn't matter the kind of scenario it is between you and your family members. Maybe you have never spoken even in five years. Maybe you have never even been following up and finding out how they are doing. But now a season has come when everybody must go back to their home. During the Christmas time and the New Year time, everybody is going back to their family. And you are there wondering, where will I go now? Which family will I go to? Who is going to receive me? By the masses of God, this is not the case I will be having. Because on this Christmas day, I will be in the first congregation of Mission Monday 2023. We are ending the year with a congregation. We are ending the year with a community that has come to Jesus. Hallelujah. The whole year, the whole year from 2022 to 2023 is a whole year the Lord has shown mercy. When I went into this land in September 2022, on the 4th of, of September 2022, you know, at that very time, our nation had gone through an election which they were not, we were not sure which direction it's going to take. But I told myself and I thank God for my supportive wife that prayed with me and I told her I'm going to Lerata Samburu for the first time ever and yet we don't know who the president is going to be. The next day, the 5th of September 2022 was the time that was meant for the presidential uh, court case to be determined. And it could go any direction. But I say, Lord, this Mission Monday of 2022 September, I will be going to this place with only one mission, to deliver a photograph I had taken. Now, God is so faithful and merciful because through that one photograph is that God is now helping us to be able to see the birth of three congregations in Kirish, in Lerata A, in Lerata B. Three areas of the Samburu. What a blessing. What a delight. And on this day, we'll have a joint service. Together, all of us in Lerata, the Lord is going to bring them. Now, the most interesting thing is this. We don't have network connection on all the places. So there are places that don't have network connection. But I want to mention this before the Lord to send his own network ahead of me. And the people that we need in this meeting in September, in December 25th, 2023, may the Lord appear. May the jailers be sent there. May the people that need salvation come in large numbers to where we shall be meeting in the name of Jesus. We thank God for enough provision to provide food for everybody who shall come. We shall eat the food with them. We shall celebrate the Lord with them. An entire village. An entire manyata, an entire area, the Lord has provided for warm beddings for them. How great this God is that we continue to gather here every night and we see the miracles beginning to happen. Now we have received this sign from the Lord that during the day, uh, the day 50, the 16th of December, we experienced a release you know god sent just two two people not many two people one person gave um an entire batch of of uh of um of of clothes of what you call them of um sleeping bags and 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 which are convertible they become blankets i mean it's very very incredible and wonderful uh, uh um, um donation from the Lord himself because my friend is not even on any social media. I did not call him before. I did not tell him before but the Lord made sure that today we met and when we met while we were still talking <laughs> another friend of ours also came and him he was ready. He had, he had sorted out the baby's clothes. Boys, last time boys did not get clothes. This time boys are getting close. And also, this is the doing of the Lord. But the major thing about reaching out to them, the, the peoples, is not about the supplies. It's not about the relief. 
is about the jailer that Paul and Silas were thrown into prison. We usually see that Paul and Silas were thrown into the prison and they sang and prayed and then they were released. That is not the miracle. The miracle is the jailer. The jailer. He had been a suicidal man for a long time. He didn't know what to do to be saved. But when he threw this man into prison and he had been given instruction that these ones must be guarded carefully, must be guarded carefully, 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 carefully. He put them in the inner cell. And yet the Lord helped by making sure that, you know, his presence was there. Would we invite the presence of the Lord to just seal us? To just saturate us? Ay, 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 ay. As the year ends, let it not just end with good deeds, that we did good deeds. Let it not just end that we did some wonderful deeds. Because if it is only about good deeds, then Christ would have died in vain. I come to encourage you, beloved who is watching me, this is your time. This is good ground to sow into the missions and to be part of it by prayer. You can just pray. You can tell God, Father, may you go ahead, Malcolm David and his team, as they go into Lerata. May, may you give them grace. Would you pray for us now in the name of Jesus Christ? Thank you, Lord. Father, we love you. We give you praise. We continue to trust you. We continue to call, call on your name because you are a faithful God. Go ahead of us in this year, 2023. Lord, we thank you even as we mobilize ourselves and as we continue to press on in prayer. We want to thank you for open heavens. Father, we thank you for uh, a clear sky, oh God. We want to see the stars, all of them. Let them come in fullness, Lord, in the night skies, oh my Father. We pray that we'll have a beautiful sunrise and a beautiful sunset. That, Lord God, your presence will go ahead of us, oh Lord. And that your mercy, your mercy, your mercy, your mercy, O oh Lord, is coming upon us in power. Your mercy, O oh Lord, is coming upon everyone here present. I want to thank you, Lord God, for psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs that God we bring before your people. Lord, our Father, Bwana tunakushukuru kwa sababu unatusikia tunapokuomba. Unatusikia Bwana, unatuweka huru katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Unatuweka huru katika jina la Yesu Kristo kwa sababu wewe ni mwaminifu. You are a faithful God. You are a faithful God. You are a faithful God. You reign forever, Lord. You reign forever. You reign forever. You reign forever. There is none, there is no God who can compare to you. You are worthy to be praised. Worthy to be adored, Father. You are worthy, Lord God. You are worthy to be praised, oh my Father. You are worthy, Lord God. Worthy, worthy to be praised. We honor you, Jehovah. We honor you, Jehovah. We honor you, Jehovah. We honor you, Jehovah. There is none who can compare to you. You are worthy, worthy to be praised. We praise your name, O God. We bless you. We give you praise, O God. We thank you. Thank you, Lord. The days I almost lost my mind. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Give you thanks. Thank you, Jesus. If it had not been for the Lord, who was Thank you. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your we doing. You thanks, we honor you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Olua. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here we are in the middle of the year, the sixth month. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you. Father, we honor you for your goodness. We honor you for your love. I want us to turn our Bibles again to this book of Colossians. You see, Colossians, Ephesians, they are related. Colossians chapter 4 from verse uh from from verse um hallelujah let me get the correct one i don't want to miss it ephesians helps us to you know receive from the lord the instructions that the the lord gave through them through the ephesian church and we begin to see in Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 17 all the way to Ephesians chapter 5 verse 21. We see the way of living as children of the light. We mentioned in episode 2 about how we ought to be, be a clear distinction. Like there should be no doubt about how you stand and where you stand. There should be no doubt. You should not, uh, you know, be shy to tell the person, no, I am a born-again Christian. Or just use another way to be able to let the person know that, you know, that um, it's important for you to, to to take a stand. It's very important for you to take a stand and to say, look, I am not going to go in the way of darkness. You see, there are people who use this uh, scripture in the in the in the in the gospels that says that Jesus turned water into wine, and they use that to say that it is proper for them to drink alcohol because it is not what goes into a man that can defile the man, but it is what comes out of the man that can defile the man. Now, one of the things that this statement is not very very clear in explaining is that drunkenness is a work of the flesh that whether you drink alcohol or not within you as an unsaved man or somebody without the spirit of god they are sinful nature they are the works of the sinful nature that are obvious and that are inside they are inbuilt <laughs> they come together with the system called human. So drunkenness is one of those things. And the moment that you want to be great, you have to stay away from drunkenness. You have to stay away from fermented drinks and so on. You say, how much so? One, when Jesus was, he made the, the water into wine, he did not come near the wine. He did not taste it. He said the, the one who was in the banquet is the one who tested and said, others keep the wine until the end. And you, you have kept the best wine. Yeah, they bring it first. But you, you have brought it uh, the last thing. Our Lord Jesus Christ did not touch anything called wine. At all. At all, at all, at all. In the culture of the Jews, wine is there. But our Lord Jesus Christ and John the Baptist, mm -mm, they did not touch that thing. Luke chapter 1 verse 15. I want to help somebody because there are people who in December they say, oh, we are going to repent in January. But who tells you that you got the chance to repent? Some people um, thinking that they will repent have gone into sin and never come out again. In the gospel of Luke chapter 1 verse 15, it says, for he will be I, I will be great in the sight of the Lord. He is never to take wine or other fermented drink. And he will be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from birth. This is when the angel spoke to Zechariah about the birth of John the Baptist. You see, beloved, if you want to be great, stay away from any fermented drinks. Even fermented porridge that can make you drunk, you don't need to take it. No, it's not necessary. He says he's never to take wine or other fermented drink. 
or he will be and he will be filled with the holy spirit even from birth it's important for you to know that the lord desires that you remain sober minded so that you can pray sober minded so that you can pray it's important for you to note that god delights this to happen to us as his children in the mighty name of jesus so as you go into the celebrations as you go from one place to another place some places will be more liberal than other places but you will make a choice you will make a choice and say i will not come near fermented drink i will not come near wine and i will be filled with the holy spirit in the mighty name of jesus christ i will be sober that i can pray in the mighty name of jesus beloved this is a very very key point that i'm mentioning here that it's important for us to understand that the soberness is important the soberness is important very very important nabal in the bible was a drunk man he was a foolish man actually the bible says he was a foolish man in the book of first samuel chapter 25 verse 34 that Nabal was a foolish man. Hmm. You see, these things, we see them from scriptures. In the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 13, it says, For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourselves more highly than you ought but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the measure of faith God has given you soberness is very very important sober judgment be sober so that you can pray the only type of drunkenness we need is being filled with the Holy Spirit. And this is very, very key. Hallelujah. I would like us to do just one more prayer and tell the Lord, Father, help me to crucify the works of the flesh in my body. Help me to crucify the works of the flesh in my body. Help me, help me to, help me, <clears throat> To crucify the flesh in my body in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. Say, Lord, help me to crucify all the works. Of the flesh in the name of Jesus. Help me to crucify the works of the flesh in the mighty name of Jesus. Help me, Lord, to crucify the works of the flesh in the mighty name of jesus help me to crucify the works of the flesh in my life in the name of jesus help me to be sober-minded that i may pray help me to look to you and your strength lord my father help me help me help me help 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 in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we pray, give us the capacity to trust you. Give us the capacity to love you. Give us the capacity to remain calling on your name every single time. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Acts chapter 16. We see the jailer. The jailer instantly when he looked and he saw that the people were about to you know that the, the the people have have left the prison he thought of taking his own life and thereafter he falls down before paul and silas and say what must i do to be saved beloved many people do not know what they must do mm. Find in me thine all in all, I love it, Jesus.
Jesus paid it all, all to Him I owe. Sin not left a crimson stain, He washed it white as snow. But I know indeed I find the power in thine alone can change the leper spots and melt this heart of stone. Jesus paid it all, all to him my own. See that left a crimson stain he he washed it as white as snow mm. nothing good I have whereby thy grace to claim I'll wash my garments white in the blood of Calvary's lamb Jesus paid it all, all to Him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain, He washed it white as snow. When before the throne I stood in Him complete, Jesus died my soul to save, my lips shall still repeat. Jesus paid it all, all to Him I owe. Sin not left a crimson stain, He washed it wise as snow. Psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. In the midnight hour, they shook the foundation of the prison. Woo! I'd rather have Jesus. I would rather have Jesus. What is it? I, what are you? What is it? Are you going to have now? I'd rather have Jesus than silver or gold. I'd rather have years than have riches and all. I'd rather have Jesus than houses or lands. I'd rather be led by His nail pierced hands than to be a king of a domain and be held in sins dress with I'd rather of Jesus than anything this world affords today I'd rather than man's applause I'd rather be faithful to his dear cause I'd rather have Jesus than worldwide fame I'd rather be true to his holy name than to be of a vast domain and be held in sin's dreads way I'd rather have Jesus than anything this world affords today is fairer than the lilies of rarest blue. He 
is sweeter than honey from out the comb is all that my hungry spirit needs I'd rather of Jesus and let him lead I love this part but to be a king of a vast domain and be held in sins dress ways I'd rather of Jesus than anything this world affords today. So what what are you gonna have? What are you gonna have? Are you gonna have a drink? Are you gonna have a soda? I'd rather have Jesus. I'd rather have Jesus. I'd rather have Jesus. That's what you're gonna say. Rabba this intro doska. Yes, Lord. Psalms sings. Psalms songs and spiritual songs. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That even at that very moment when the you know when when hallelujah thank you Lord for the open heaven. That very moment when the when 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 the jailer took Paul and Silas into the innermost chambers, innermost, hallelujah, took them into the inner, innermost, innermost chambers, innermost. And he, he tied them, he tied their feet to the, you know, like to the wall, kind of. They could not be able to move. <laughs> but the Lord shook the foundations of the prison. I am here to tell somebody, Psalm 142 verse 7, the Lord is setting you free from your prison, that you may go out and praise him. The Lord is setting you free from your prison in the mighty name of Jesus. That is time for us to see the faithfulness of God. It's time for us to see him send sunshine and the rain and send the harvest golden grain because he is a mighty God who answers prayer. I am here thanking, to, thanking God. I've seen the sunshine i've seen the rain i've seen the harvest of grain yes the lord has been faithful 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 jesus is all the world to us jesus is all the world to me lord you're all the world to me lord you're all the world to me lord you're all the world to me i call on your name father for the journey to lerata samburu father we thank you for fine weather we thank you for clear skies we thank you Lord for beautiful landscapes we thank you for no traffic jam oh God that holds people back uh, even over this time Lord uh, we pray concerning the journey Lord there will be no traffic jam anymore Father even as people are going to their homes my Father the traffic jam uh, we command it removed uh, we command the people flowing well uh, we pray that the people of God are traveling smoother in this season in the name of Jesus Christ them that are within Kenyan space them that are in the diaspora them that are in different locations my father you are enabling them to move smoothly in the mighty name of Jesus in every category my father we pray for excellence we pray for the spirit of God to be evident in what we do in the mighty name of Jesus Christ so God you reign forever we give you the praise we honor you Lord Lord. Yes, Lord, lead us, O oh God. Lead us, lead us, lead us, lead us. Woo! Ha! Yes! He leadeth me, O oh blessed thoughts, words with heavenly comfort from whatever I do. Wherever I be, still tis God's hand that leadeth me. He leadeth me, he leadeth me, I is own and he leadeth me. His faith, faithful follower I will be, oh by his hand. Leadeth me, I will clasp thy hand in mine, nor ever mama nor repine. Take it. 
And spiritual songs giving thanks, giving thanks, giving thanks, giving the thanks to the Lord. Giving thanks, giving thanks, giving thanks, giving thanks to the Lord our Father. Our God, we honor you. We continue to pray. We continue to trust you. Lord, give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation that we may know you better. Help us, O God. Feel us, Lord God. Father, even in moments when we feel, you know, the body is trying to be tired and strengthened and stretched, my Lord, we press on in the place of prayer. We press on. We determine, Lord God. May you open the, may you open the storehouses of your grace, Father, that will be seen in one town and another town even at the same time lord god by your mercy because you are the one who is able to open doors for us nobody can shut those doors in the name of jesus we thank you for the beautiful spirit of uh of of joy and giving and thanksgiving father that this season brings and father we want to praise you because of the favor of god that has already been released upon us my father we give you praise oh god we honor you father we honor you 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 jesus we honor you we honor you lord god we declare there is no god beside you we declare that you are faithful god we declare that you are mighty We declare that there is no other God who can compare to you. You are a faithful God who always answers prayer. You are worthy to be praised, Lord. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you all the adoration, Father, that is due to your name. Hallelujah. That we are being made alive again, Lord. That we are calling on your name in this time, Lord God. Trusting in you, Father trusting in you father that it is you we put our confidence in lord we put our confidence in you alone father hallelujah worthy 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 is our lord worthy 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 lord worthy 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 lord we give you praise lord we give you adoration we give you all the glory We give you all the praise, O God. We give you all the glory. We give you all the blessings, O God, that you have given unto us. All the blessings we receive. We receive. We receive. We receive, O Lord. We receive all the blessings, O God. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. 
the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus Christ. There is a fountain filled with blood. Hallelujah. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins and seen as plants beneath the flood lose all their guilty stains lose all their guilty stains lose all their guilty stains and sin as plants beneath the flood lose all their guilty stains the dying thief Rejoice to see that fountain in his day. And there have I, though vile as he, washed all my sins away. <laughs> washed all my sins away. Washed all my sins away And there have I, though vile as he Washed all my sins away And since by faith I saw the stream Thy flowing wounds apply. Redeeming love has been my theme and shall be till I die. And shall be till I die. And shall be till I die. Redeeming love has been my theme and shall be till I die. And peace, poorly speak, I style and in the grave. In in a noble, sweetest song, I'll sing thy power to save. I'll sing the power to save. I'll sing the power to save. Then in a noble, sweetest song, I'll sing thy power to save. Father God, we continue to bless your name and honor you for all that you continue to do, O oh God. You are worthy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For the fire you're bringing us, Lord, we know that the chains are breaking, the rocks. Father, we honor you for your loving kindness. We give you praise, O oh God. We give you glory. We give you all the adoration. We give you all the glory, O oh God. We pray that you fill us, O oh God, Holy Spirit. We delight that everything we do, you will guide us. Lord, even in this season, O oh Father God, we pray that, Lord, you'll set the captives free. Lord, like you did it for the jailer, do it for the captives, them that are bound, them, Lord, that do not have an understanding of what to do. Father, that when the sweet hour of prayer comes, that it will be such a blessing, O oh Lord. Eads me up, 
my father, my father's throne, make all my wants and we chase no. Hallelujah. Beloved, as we come to the end of this session, we want to give glory to God for his mercy, for his loving kindness, for his joy that is able to give unto us as his children. And um, I just want to, he's helping us to achieve and also for the blessings that flow out of obedience. There is nothing as sweet as obedience because through obedience, is where we are able to, through obedience, is how we are able to receive multiple blessings. When we obey the Lord, multiple blessings flow. When we let the Lord help us, we see his favor, we see his mercy, we see his goodness. Psalm 37. And then we shall close. Hallelujah. Psalm 37, verse 1 says, Do not fret because of evil men. Be, or be envious of those who do wrong. For they, for like the grass, they will be soon, they will soon wither away. Like green plants, they will soon die away. And then he says, Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. And I like to add the desires of your heart that are in line with the purpose. The desires of your heart, the desires of your heart that are in line the desires of your heart that are in line with the purposes of God. Psalm 145 verse 12, it says, He fulfills the desires of those who fear him, and he hears their cry and saves them. He fulfills, he fulfills the desires. He fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. Psalm 145 verse 19. He fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. Beloved of the Lord, as the Lord has heard our cry tonight, may he enable us to hear, commit, let us commit our way to the Lord, trust in him, and he will do this. He will make the righteousness, he will make your righteousness to shine like the dawn, the justice of your cause like the noonday sun. Let the justice of this cause to go to the lost in Lerata Samburu. Let that justice, let that cause be, let the justice of that cause shine like the noonday sun. We pray for the blood of Jesus Christ to speak loudly and to set us free in every way. So we thank God for this night. And we give him all the praise. We give him all the honor. We give him adoration. We thank you, our Father, for enabling us to be in the place of prayer and to be in the place of psalm scenes and spiritual songs. It's such a delight, our oh Father, that you enabled us to come this way. We pray also for our partners. We thank you, Lord, for the giving and the people that are standing with your work. We speak a blessing over them and we speak a release over them. Lord, give us a wonderful night in your presence and a delightful week full of testimonies. Every day will be testimonies. Every day will be full of testimonies from now till the end of 2023. Testimony after testimony after testimony after testimony in Jesus' name. May the Lord go ahead of you and give you victory. Shalom. Godly dreams be your portion, favor, increase, dominion, and I bless your tithes and your offerings in Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom.